Hello and welcome to episode 112 of the Giddy Knits podcast. As always, I am Helen and I am coming to you from Dundee in Scotland, where I live with my husband Tom and my two boys, Arthur who is eight and Jasper who is five. Today is Monday the 31st of January. How has a month of 2022 disappeared already? Um, time does fly, doesn't it? Um, and if you are new here, then this is my crafting podcast. I am the dyer behind Giddy Yarns, but this is where I talk about all of the projects that I've been working on um, and share them with you, basically. Something like that. <laughs> Today is likely to be a slightly shorter episode because um, it's been all about the socks this week. I've not I've not had as much knitting time as I normally would because I've been packing up clubs and we had a really busy weekend because I have children and they had multiple birthday parties to go to so I was basically a taxi driver all weekend um, which isn't very productive when it comes to knitting. Um, so yeah probably a slightly shorter episode although those of you that are regular viewers know that I'm quite good at rambling on about not much for a long time so maybe I'll end up doing that instead. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with a quick announcement section and then I have got a finished object to share this week. I've also got some works in progress that I'm going to talk about and then I've just got some shop news and that's it. There's no yarny goodness, there's no new cast-ons. Um, yeah, shorter week. <laughs> but let's get straight into the announcements. So first of all, just a quick announcements about our make-alongs. Um, so as always, we have the ongoing... Um, Giddy Yarns Make Along, which is my continuous one, as long as you're using 50% of my yarn, it counts. All the details can be seen down underneath the video. Um, all the places you can enter and all the rules, etc. We also have a brand new Make Along for February. Um, works in progresses are completely acceptable and totally allowed, so by all means, start today. Um, but your entries need to be in by the end of February to be in with a chance of winning a prize. And that is our mini make along because February is a mini month. So we'll have a mini make along. So basic concept is that um, you can knit whatever you want, but you are only allowed to use 20 grams of each color. So the idea is that you use, you knit a project that uses mini skeins, um, but Obviously you can use scraps, um, but you can't use more than 20 grams of each individual colour. You could knit a garment as long as it was a scrappy garment knit with lots of different colours and lots of different minis. Or you could knit a gnome which uses minis or even baby socks where you knit a pair using just 20 grams. Um, the options are pretty much endless when it comes to using minis. Um, so there is um, a thread over in the Ravelry group um, where people have given pattern suggestions and things like that. Thanks to my lovely moderators, the threads over in the Ravelry group are really nice and active at the moment. Um, there is also a new thread up there for the yarn clubs that I've been running. So if you're interested in seeing um, either of the um, Middle Earth Minis one or the Beatrix Potter ones or anything like that, then there is a spoilers thread over there so people can share photographs of what they're making and when they receive their clubs and things like that. Um, yeah, what else? Mighty Networks. I have set up the tags on Mighty Networks so you can enter and chat over there as well. And of course on Instagram as well, um, there will be a hashtag which I think I wrote down in last week's episode and then I have now forgotten about. But it's probably just Giddy GY Mini Make Along. I'm not sure. I will put it on the screen because otherwise I'll get it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, come and join in the Make Along. It's always fun and it's always good to get prizes at the end and it can be a good inspiration to get some of those projects finished. I'm hoping to use it to inspire me to get my gnome finished that I started during Advent and also to get my Advent wrap finished that I started in 2020. Um, <laughs> but yeah, come along. Join in the threads wherever you are most comfortable joining in. Um, 
and that's all the announcements. That's the make-alongs, I think. Right, finished objects. I do have a finished object. And if you've been watching my um, week in vlogs that has just finished, then you may have a little of a sneak, a sneak advanced preview of this finished object. But I have finished my Christmas socks. Um, I'm just popping them on sock blockers so you get a better view of them. I don't quite know. I ended up with a hole in one side and I'm not sure why or how or quite what happened. But oh well, it all adds character, doesn't it? Um, so I cast these socks on on Christmas Day. They were meant to be my Christmas Eve cast on but I didn't get round to it. Christmas is busy, isn't it? And I just didn't get round to casting it on on Christmas Eve. But I did manage to find some time on Christmas Day to cast them on. And here they are. One finished pair of socks. Um, so I used an ancient Giddy Yarns colourway, um, which I've talked about on previous episodes. This is Christmas Morning Chaos and it's inspired by the idea of like the kids ripping their presents open on Christmas morning. Um, and I dyed this up um, back in 2017, I believe, when I first opened my shop. Um, and it's been sat in my stash ever since and not been used. Um, so it's really nice to finally get it, finally get it knit up. Um, and it's really nice to have some finished socks. Finally, my first pair of finished socks for the year. Um, as I mentioned, I have a little hole. Um, where is it? There it is. Can you see it? I'm not sure how I managed to put a little hole in there. It's not a dropped stitch. Or maybe it was a dropped stitch, but I've picked it up on the wrong row or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, there is a little random hole that is fine. It's not a dropped stitch. It's, it's picked up. It's secured. It's just a hole. I'm not sure why. But it happens, doesn't it? To the best of us. <laughs> Um, what else can I tell you about these socks? I don't really know. Someone was asking about my the heel that I use. I always use a German short row heel um, and it's actually the heel from um, Knitting Expat, Mina Phillips Knitting Expat. I think it was from her New York sock collection um, that she did um, back 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 in probably 2017 <laughs> um, at least. Um, because um, at that point I was quite new to knitting socks and I'd signed up to the sock club and I thought I would try the heel in the sock club and I just I just really liked knitting it and I've stuck with the same heel ever since. Um, so it's pre, it's before she um, started doing um, the mini heel flap adjustment that she does in a lot of her new patterns um, but it's, I think the, the main structure of the heel is still the same. So yeah, German short row heel, I use the one from her patterns. There are probably a lot of other options around and there's definitely um, YouTube tutorials. If you were to just put a German short row heel into YouTube, you'd come up with a number of videos giving you step-by-step um, -step instructions on how to do it. So yeah, one finished object, a pair of socks, the first pair of socks for the year. I need to get photos so that I can put them in my knitting journal. And then I've got some works in progress to share, but it's pretty much all socks. <laughs> um, so I have been working on, I've got my Yuletide socks. So I have, I think, had I finished the leg last week? I can't quite remember if I'd finished the leg last week or if I still had a few more rows to do on the leg. Um, but I have now finished the leg um, of the first sock. Um, so we have got one completed leg. I do love this pattern. It really does benefit from being kind of stretched out so that you can see it properly. But it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I have put in a heel. I, do you know, I didn't even check what heel was in the pattern, to be honest. Um, but again, I've just gone with my standard German short row heel. Um, so it probably isn't the heel that's in the pattern. <laughs> Um, but I've talked about how I've adjusted the pattern on previous episodes. Um, but yeah, I've got this lovely blue mini, which I think works really, really nicely. Um, and it's just in there as a German short row heel. And now I just need to start working my way down the leg. 
I had a bit of a heel day on Saturday um, and I sat down and got all the heels put in all the socks that I had that needed heels um, which has been quite productive actually so now I can pick them all up and just carry on working down the leg obviously this one is a slightly more complicated one because it's a pattern sock so I need to be I need to work on it when I can actually concentrate on the pattern um, but I've got a couple of others that are just vanilla socks so they're going to be much easier to work on the pattern by the way for the Yuletide socks is um, by Green Lambkin Yarns and the yarn that I'm using, again, is another one of, well, it's not a Giddy Yarns yarn at all, um, but it is one that I dyed myself um, at the Woolley Retreat back in December. So that is a pair of socks number one that I have been working on. And then, as I mentioned, I um, have been putting heels into socks because I, not only, well, first off, I had my sample, woo! there's going to be yarn everywhere this has got like four pairs of socks in it this bag um first off i had the sample that i'm working on which is um the color of the month the january color of the month um which is actually now up in the shop um available in 70 gram and 120 gram sock sets um and i have again put the heel i finished the leg of this one i'm knitting a sock for my husband out of this um, because he likes wearing odd socks and I thought it would be fun to use all of the colour of the month colours um, to knit him individual socks and then at the end of the year he'll have six pairs in theory. I won't keep up with it but he could potentially have six pairs of socks. Um, and um, yeah, so this is the January colour of the month. I'm really pleased with how it knits up. I love that bright um, orange heel and um, the actual orange the color is actually a mix of orange and the say the orange and the pink that is in the yarn um, so it has got it's not just a pure orange so it's quite nice um, but yeah I've got the heel in that one so that is good and again this is just a vanilla a vanilla sock so this will be nice and easy to just pick up whenever I've got five minutes when I'm sitting down to read my book or something like that I can just pick this up whenever and work my way down the foot. It's been a while since I've knit Tom a pair of socks so I'm going to need to work out again how long I need to knit for his foot. Um, I think it's around 75 rows or something like that. But we'll find out they're not they're not going to be a surprise so it doesn't matter if I have to make him try them on so that was the first one that you have been aware of and then I came across this bag which I'd put at Christmas or sort of in December I'd put away a load of socks that I'd been working on in the lead up to December um, because I wasn't going to be working on them during December and I was just tidying up and I'd kind of forgotten about them but in here there are actually three sock cast-ons so the one I've been actively working on this week is um, this one here so this is my poinsettia colorway so this, again, this is a Giddy Yarns self-striping. Um, this is my poinsettia colourway. Um, and I had knit a little swatch. In fact, you can see, because they've been sat on the needles for so long, you can see where I was. Um, just here, where the stitches are slightly wonky. You can see where I was um, and where this had got left. I'd basically done a colour repeat enough to just get a photograph for when I put the sock listing, when I sold the cut the way, um, and then that's it. But I've finished off the leg. I'm just gonna do a relatively short leg on these. I finished off the leg and I've added a heel in the contrast mini, and I've started working my way, ah, I'm getting tangled up. I've started working my way down the foot. Um, so I'm thinking that these are gonna be the ones that I just, I just wanna get at least one of these finished quickly, and then, um, I will get the rest of Tom's sock done um, but I could reach for either of these and work on them at the same time really. Um, poinsettia colourway will be in the shop on Friday evening. Um, I am dyeing it up tomorrow and then I've got a couple of days Thursday Friday hopefully I will be able to get it wound and they will be in the shop Friday evening. I know I said I'd get them up in January but time just didn't happen. <laughs> Um, so they will be in the shop um, in on Friday the 4th at 
Um, and I'm going to be doing some like the 70 gram sock set versions again. So you'll get the mini and the 50 gram ball or I will make some 100 gram balls available too. So that is that one. And then I haven't been working on these, but these are a couple more socks that I discovered. Just tidy up that mini because it's going everywhere. Um, so in this bag, there are also two finished socks, but single socks. Um, so there's one that I was knitting out of my Woodlands colorway, um, which I need to get, I need to, haven't even cast on the second sock. And then there's also one that I was knitting out of a self-striping from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. Um, and this is her Toss a Coin to Your Witcher colourway. And um, yeah, again, a single sock. So I've promised myself that I am not casting on another fresh new pair of socks until all of these five pairs. Is it five pairs? One, two, three, four and then my Yuletide ones. So five pairs, until these five pairs of socks are finished. Oh no, that's a lot to, that's a lot to ask, isn't it? Until I finished at least two of these pairs of socks. I'm not allowed to cast on another new pair of socks until at least two of these are finished. Maybe, we'll see. I do wanna get them done. Um, so yeah, but that is pretty much all I've been working on this week. I haven't touched my advent wrap. I haven't touched any other projects. I've just been working on those socks. I wanted to get the Christmas socks finished and then I wanted to kind of get to the feet, get to the feet, get to the heels and put some heels in and stuff like that. And as I said, I've not had as much knitting time um, during the day as I normally would do during the month um, because I was packing clubs. Um, but I do have a little bit of shop news that I was gonna share. So as I'm sure most of you are aware, I had a shop update on Friday just gone um, and it introduced the brand new Narnia collection inspired by the advent calendar. Um, so it's 10 colours and um, I've dyed them all up on 100 gram skeins and there's also mini bundles available. I've got them all for the first time actually skeined up and next to me so I thought I would just share all the colours quickly. Um, so to start off with you've got the mini bundle which is available as 10 um, 10 gram minis. It's also, there's also one bundle of 20 gram minis, so it's 10, 20 gram minis as well. Um, but there they all are. And then the individual colours are, we have got Through the Wardrobe, Aslan, Lamp Post in the Woods, Tea with Mr. Tumnus. Spring comes to Narnia. The Stone Table. Always Winter, Never Christmas. Edmund's Betrayal. A Gift for Susan. And then finally, Kings and Queens of Narnia. I know I shared some of them on the podcast last week. There they all are. <laughs> I know I shared some of them on the podcast last week, but um, I I think I was missing a couple when I shared them then. Um, so I thought, why not share them all again? Because they're pretty. <laughs> um, there's also still some of the... Um, colour of the month sock sets and some of the valentine sock sets in stock it was a big shop update um so that's that one i mentioned the stripey shop update friday the 4th that will be going up and then the other thing i was going to say is my pattern which i think i had is it i don't know where i've put it i brought it in but i don't know where i put it goodness knows anyway um, my um, Storm's End cowl pattern, um, which I also released on Friday Just Gone, it's available on Payhip. Um, I still need to have a little bit of a fiddle with Ravelry because I was having issues linking my PayPal to it for some reason. Um, so at the moment it's only available on Payhip, but um, it is linked directly from my website. On the front page of my website, you, if you scroll down, you'll find an image of the pattern and there's a link that takes you directly over to the Payhip website where you can pay and get your digital download for it. 
And um, thank you to everyone that's purchased it so far. It's very nerve-wracking but also very exciting to be selling a knitting pattern for the first time. I haven't got any ideas for another one yet but you never know, maybe one day. Um, we will see. But that's pretty much all I've got for you this week. As I said it was going to be a shorter episode, I've not got as much knitting progress done. Um, but keep your eyes and ears and everything tuned on YouTube because I am also recording my um, monthly roundup video, the first, the first ever monthly roundup video. I am also going to be recording that um, shortly actually, straight after I finished recording this podcast <laughs> and that should also be going up, um, at, well it'll go up a couple of hours later than um, the podcast will but um, yeah I've got lots to talk about and lots to share during that video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching <laughs> and I will see you all again hopefully with more knitting progress um, next week. Bye!